yes, uh, so I'm uh, calling about um, fasting, right? So when I was young, when I had just had puberty, I had to fast in the time, but I didn't know that. So now, a couple of years later, I am thinking those months that I have to fast, I have to read them in life. And uh, do I have to pay the station for them? Because I know if, if you just do not make your pot like fast before the next Ramadan, you have to pay expiation for them. Although I don't know when I can feel with you, so I don't know how many fasts to make up. And I also don't remember when I exactly started fasting, so how many days do I need to make up? Okay. And also, uh, my parents are telling me not to fast. Uh, my parents are also telling me not to fast uh, because they say it is dangerous because you're skinny, but I think I can fast without any problem. So do I listen to them or do I fast? Okay, I will answer you, Ismail. First of all, those who hit puberty and did not fast these days due to ignorance, negligence, they don't want to fast. They know it's mandatory, but they simply don't want to fast. The most authentic opinion is that they do not make up these days. Whoa, we thought that you should make up missed days. You make up missed days that you intentionally broke after fasting them. So today, I woke up intending to fast. I'm fasting. Everybody knows I'm fasting. I prayed Fajr. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock a.m., I woke up, and I felt hungry. I said, tell you what, I'm going to call it a day. And I eat and drink. This day, I broke intentionally. I have to fast this day. I have to make it up, even after 20, 30 years. But if before going to bed, tomorrow is a fasting day of Ramadan, and I say to myself, I'm not going to fast. I'm going to fool everyone else. I'm going to pretend to be fasting. I'm not going to fast. So I intended not to fast it. This day cannot be made up. Assuming that you are from the first type, you started fasting and broke it, you have to make them up. How many days? I don't know. This is something you have to estimate. If I say a thousand days, oh, Sheikh, this is too much. If I say five days, no, this is too little. So 100 days, no, this is too much. Uh, six days, no, this is too little. And we go back and forth until we reach a date that you think that mm, this is probable. Add a day or two just to be safe. Point number three is, the, there is a difference of opinion among scholars whether we have to feed a poor person due to the fact that a Ramadan or more had passed without making them up or not. The majority of scholars say that you feed, according to some companions. And the most authentic opinion, and this is the choice of Sheikh Ibn Taymin, that there is no proof or evidence from the Quran or the Sunnah to back this up. So we don't expiate while making up for a day of Ramadan that was missed, even if it was 20, 30 years ago. All what you have to do is to make them up, and that is it, and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.